Oh, there you are, YouTube. Hey, let's do a random ranking today, but let's make things a little bit different. Normally, I choose from my movie collection behind me, but today, let's go to my my my, my childhood VHS collection. So, so they're in a they're in a different part of the basement here. So let's head over there. Ooh, 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 ooh. All right, here we go, here we go. Oh, look, there's all the, the Disney ones. And then in here, that's where the other ones are. So let's, let's pick those out, let's go. One, let's see, you can probably see what they are. Um, let's see, maybe from this portion. And then I did see that was the color red, but I didn't see what the movie was, so I think we're still good. And then one right here, I'm pretty sure I've seen every movie here. Let's 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 find out. Okay, going back, going back. You can see my basement. Okay, here we go. Let's see what we have. Let me just park you right here. Oh, okay. This. There could be some controversy here. Okay. First, we have Batman Forever. This, I mean, I, I really bought into this movie. Love Batman, love, love Batman Returns, and I also like Batman Forever. I know not a lot of people like Batman Forever. I had no idea my hair was that thin back there. This is dusty. I need to clean this off. Um, but I, I like it. Jim Carrey, like, was on top of the world. Absolutely loved him during this era. Man, I really need to clean that. The tape still looks fine. It's just the box. Probably shouldn't have this in a damp basement. But, uh, I was obsessed with Jim Carrey's Riddler and Chris O'Donnell's Robin. I, like, cut my hair, sort of that sh short Caesar cut trying to look like him. Do you remember when George Clooney cut his hair into a Caesar cut on um, on ER? Because he used to have like that that hair. I kind of look like Nicholson. Um, and then he did the Caesar cut. So yeah, he kind of had like a buzz Caesar almost. So I always went for that. It's always funny to me that Nicole Kidman is in this. I always like forget that's her. It's like to me for some reason like a different actress. And then Tommy Lee Jones, if you think of like range, He's got range because he did this. Think of what he normally does. I mean, he's been in comedies. We've seen him in comedies like like Men in Black, you know, but he's playing the straight man. Here, he is just about as wild as Jim Carrey is. Like, he's stepping it up trying to be just as nutso. So, yeah, I always liked Val Kilmer as Batman. Uh, I remember Bob Kane, that's his name, right? The inventor of Batman, said that uh, out of all the Batmans, or all the maybe it was all the Bruce Waynes, or maybe just the whole character, uh, he did the best. I don't, you know, he didn't get to see some of the other actors play him, but um, he he always he's, I remember him saying that he liked Val Kilmer. But oh, what uh, Pat Collins of WW. OR TV says this is the best Batman yet. Do you believe that? Do you believe that? Okay, so that's our first film. Next we have Never Been Kissed with Drew Barrymore. This is from that great 1999 year with all the teen high school um, high school films, rom-coms, uh, um, I mean, the rom-com's not the right word, just high school coming of age not it's it's not coming of age because it's like so pop it can't really be considered that too uh maybe it could i don't know those 1999 high school movies is what this is this is one of them um i had a she, she's barely in the movie uh but jessica alba is in it right here i think she was like malibu Bar barbie or disco barbie or something for one of the dress-up scenes and um Lo I had a major crush on her. I think this might be the first time I ever saw her. Maybe Idle Hands. I can't remember which one came out first. I think this. And just had a huge crush on her, even though she was basically like an extra in it. New York Post says Drew is brilliant. Boston Globe says a triumph. Uh, Roger Ebert, always reliable. Not really. 
Um, but love him. Uh, says, funny and big-hearted. Yeah, I really like this movie a lot. Uh, they're gaucho pants. And then we have, looks like I bought this one secondhand, A Knight's Tale with Heath Ledger. Uh, oh yeah, and Vision. Vision is in it right there. This movie took me a while to sort of get into. I feel like everybody loved it. But me, I just couldn't understand why it was so modern and contemporary. Like, why are we using modern contemporary music in this movie, which takes place so far back in the past. I, I couldn't wrap my mind around it, and I didn't like it. Like, if I'm watching a movie like this, I want it to be of the time, or um, not pointing to current things. So that was very strange for me. So how are we going to rank these VHS tapes? Question. What are we going to do here? I think... So... Um... I, I like I've come around on this movie, but it's it's still not like one that I'm I'm crazy about in love with. I, I like the dance scene now though, the David Bowie dance scene. I've I've come around on that. That one I used to be like, what is this? Why is this movie trying to do that? I just couldn't wrap my head around this movie as a kid for some reason. I wanted it to be like Braveheart, like 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 you know, thinking it's serious. And and they they weren't even shooting for that, but for some reason I thought they should have been. Now I get it two thumbs way, way up by uh, Ebert and Roper, by the way. Um, yeah, so, okay, I think what I'm going to do is sort of nostalgia base this. So I'm going to go Batman Forever. I like it. I, I don't know if people are coming around to it or like if my opinion is unpopular or popular or what, but I like this movie. And then I'm going to go Never Been Kissed because I just like those 1999 teen films and I was perfect age I was in high school when they were coming out uh, so that was that was awesome I was like a freshman and sophomore during that time and I'm gonna go Knight's Tale at the end just because I I I like it now but I didn't always and it just doesn't have a strong grip on me like I would say these two do this one especially I really bought into this movie like I I loved it um, but yeah, this is my ranking. Batman Forever, Never Been Kissed, and then A Knight's Tale. My question to you is, have you seen these movies? And if so, what do you think of them? And if you've seen all three of them, how would you rank them? Let me know in the comments below. I'd love to know. Did I already say that? And perhaps I'll see you tomorrow for more Pure Hangout. <laughs>